people's health is a nation's inestimable treasure. Hence, the Marcus Jr. government is on a full court press to bring down the prices of generic drugs by offering tax breaks and credits to both local and foreign pharmaceuticals willing to invest in a potentially lucrative venture. Even better, the Food and Drug Administration has been ordered to cut down its vetting process by nearly two-thirds from 120 days to 45 days. As we hear more of today's FDA presser from our Alan Francisco. Cheap medicine for the public. This is the target of the administration of President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. So in the sectoral meeting earlier today, President Marcos directed health officials to study the establishment of pharma zones or pharmaceutical economic zones. These pharma zones are expected to address the development and creation of common generic drugs to lower their prices in the market, similar to what India has done. It will give a more drug accessible to those selected three pharma zones by the PAZA. So it will have a role, the FDA will have a role. Um, so that um, pagpasok po ng isang gamot, derecho testing, derecho registration, para po magkaroon po ng mabilis at malaki ang lawak ng coverage. Especially those essential medicines, like for example the generic drug and the antibiotics that has been approved by the stringent regulatory authority of the different countries. To make this happen, the government encourages more local and foreign investments into the pharmaceutical sector, similar to the eco-zones monitored and reviewed by the Philippine Economic Zone Authority or PESA, where investors receive tax credits and other financial incentives to lower the manufacturing cost. As of now, in the FDA, we already had um, formulated several policies para po makatulong sa ating mga stakeholders. And one of that is the... Bible of the drug application process, which is the administrative order number 67, it will pave the way for the application um, per category so that uh, the stakeholders, the local drug manufacturers and the drug importers will have the proper way of how to register their products. Under this plan, an increase in affordable generic drugs is expected. The chief executive also directed the FDA to broaden access and expedite the drug application process through a one-stop shop. This means that from 120 days, the review and approval process for generic drug applications is hopefully reduced to just 45 days. Napakaganda po ng proyekto ng ating presidente kasi kung tatlo po yan, no, it will give a more influx of essential and generic drug. As of now, there are three main. But yung isa is I think the new clerk. But the two has yet to be determined by the PESA itself kasi hindi naman po pwede makapag-determine yung FDA. We're just there to, you know, the, to streamline the process. However, the FDA clarified the number of requirements in the process will not be reduced. Meanwhile, the President also directed the FDA and Agriculture Department to address concerns to expedite approval for vaccines against the avian flu and African swine fever. We uh, release uh, media announcements encouraging all uh, possible importers to apply uh, for uh, these uh, uh, veterinary vaccines. So we have been encouraging them. And uh, DG Sakati have already mentioned that uh, we establish a TF uh, for us to be ready once they will apply for a registration. On the issue of medical marijuana legalization, which is in discussion by lawmakers, it is the FDA's response. Basically, the, the, the law on marijuana is uh, subject to the wisdom of the legislative. No, hindi ko kaya silang pangunahan kasi sila po ang mga, ano dyan, sila po ang mga number one na magpapasa ng batas. But my take is, medicine is an innovation. No, we cannot guarantee na ito lang po tayo at darating sa future, eh wala na, hanggang dito na lang. Like take for example, penicillin, it came from fungi. And now, ang dami na pong nagagamot na sugat at mga antibiotics na nga po siya. So, my take on marijuana is that I am open. No? I, basically, the Filipinos must have a wide range, no? wide range of uh, therapeutic indication or therapeutic uh, drug of choice. So, ako po ay... Opo, eh, for the record, the Food and Drug Administration and Vida, as the Director General, is very much open for the marijuana as long that it has been streamlined no? at uh, hindi naman po makakasama po sa ating mga taong bayan. Alan Francisco from the National TV Network.
for the new and better republic.